breaking news tonight. Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer, found guilty in all three counts of the murder of George Floyd. Just a short time ago, the jury, after just 11 hours of deliberation, delivered its verdict. Count one, unintentional second-degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. Chauvin handcuffed in the courtroom and led away. The former officer convicted after he was captured on video kneeling on George Floyd's neck for nine minutes and 29 seconds. Outside the courthouse, the crowd erupting in cheers. The reaction tonight from George Floyd's family and the moment caught on camera when President Biden called them and his message and what he said he was praying for before the decision that has sparked a backlash. Also tonight, the deadly shooting inside a supermarket. Schools placed on lockdown as police hunted for the suspect and what authorities have now announced. And the news of the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine, the rollout beginning again in Europe after the EU's drug regulator found the benefits outweigh the risk of blood clots. Is it a preview for what's to come in the U.S. when a CDC advisory panel meets on Friday? This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening. Former police officer Derek Chauvin walked out of a Minneapolis courtroom in handcuffs this afternoon, minutes after a jury convicted him on all counts of the death of George Floyd. Second degree unintentional murder, guilty. Third degree murder, guilty. Second degree manslaughter, guilty. A world that witnessed video of Floyd's death under the knee of that police officer today witnessing justice for Mr. Floyd. President Biden and Vice President Harris calling the Floyd family tonight, expressing their satisfaction with the verdict and speaking to the nation this evening as well. In weeks, it has not stopped deadly confrontations between the police and black men. But tonight, the family of George Floyd has received justice in a Minneapolis courtroom. What happens on America's streets might tell us if there is a deeper reckoning in the tragedy of George Floyd. That's nightly news for this Tuesday. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Lester Holt. Please take care of yourself and each other.